How do you know whether you should be fueling for a training session? There's a number of factors that need to be taken into account. Firstly, the time that you're going to be training. Obviously, if it's very, very early in the morning and you need to get it done quite early, you're probably not gonna have time to prepare a meal beforehand. The duration of that session, how long is that session gonna be, and also the intensity of that session. Mostly, I advocate for sessions up to around 90 minutes that are aerobic, very light sessions. You don't really need to focus so much on fueling because it's not really needed for that particular effort or even that duration. You've got natural energy stores that can support that however if you're looking at doing a long session or a quality session in other words track work speed work or hill work you definitely do need to take into consideration how you're going to be fueling that session to be able to support your effort and in that case I always advocate a pre-training meal that should be high in complex carbohydrates minimal protein no fat no fiber so that you don't impact the digestive system and create GI distress however if you do not have time to prepare a pre-training meal based on the fact that you need to consume this around 30 to 60 minutes before you go out and training, then you need to take into consideration what you're going to be consuming during that session. It can be in the form of any type of carbohydrate fuel, whether it's in the form of a liquid or a solid or even something in between. I think it's just important to make sure that whatever you decide to utilize is going to be convenient. If you're on the track and you've got access to a bottle in the form of an isotonic or some kind of hypertonic solution that you consume, that's fantastic. So you can utilize that source of fueling. However, if you're gonna be out on the road and you don't have access to a bottle, you might want to consider taking some gels or some chews with you en route in order to be able to consume that frequently and provide you sufficient energy for that session. Another thing that you do need to take into account is hydration. So I generally advocate pre-hydrating. Um, I like to mineral load and pre-hydrate before session and we'll get into that at a later stage which sets up um, your hydration status quite nicely for that session however if you do have access to water en route whether it's the tap at a petrol station etc and you know that you've got access to it well that's also fine you can hydrate during that session as well so take all that into consideration we'll talk about how much carbohydrates or how much energy you'll be consuming on an hourly basis during exercise to be able to support specific efforts and I'm going to teach you how to do that as well but in the meantime remember fueling is based on duration and intensity of the session and you do need to know that if it's a very light session you don't have to stress so much about fueling during that training session you can focus on the recovery however if it is a very long or hard session you do need to look at the fueling strategy so that it helps you also recover a lot quicker and is able to support the efforts that you're going to be putting into those sessions. Yeah.